Hi, this is Rich Gatarski from We Stream You in Sweden. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to work with VMix and uh, New Blue FX Titler Live, in uh, my case, uh, the Present Edition. Uh, so I thought I might share, uh, share uh, my experiences or rather uh, conclusions. Uh, we have a couple of workflows that works for us right now. And also, perhaps, uh, or not perhaps, I'll point at uh, a couple of issues that I think need think needs to be sorted out. Uh, I'm currently uh, using VMix uh, 20.55. Uh, I have uh, just an animation here running um, to have something to, um, well, work with. And a desktop capture uh, input here to um, that I'm recording and also uh, kind of a post roll sign uh, to show you where, <laughs> where this kind of tutorial comes from. Uh, and I'm using a new t uh, Blue Titer Live Present uh, version uh, 3.0, built 180 uh, to 15, and today it's uh, March, March 30th, uh, 2018. So uh, I think I'm going to start here in Titler Live. Um, I have made sure that the output goes to NDI so that we can get it all into vMix and also that my project settings are full HD. That's what I'm working with right now. Actually, there is no preset for 180 uh, 50p, uh, but since there's a custom uh, thing here, you can set that up nice and smoothly and one issue you have to consider uh, is that the frame rate must match the one in vmix otherwise the the length of the animations uh, in the titles won't uh, work so well um, and this is not a tutorial on Titler Live, uh, so I'm just going to demo what I need to demo in order to uh, show what we do. So I'm going into the library here. Um, go, Oh, not main title, sorry. Uh, lower thirds, and I'm going to use uh, this lower third here that's called Oceano Lower Third. And I'm putting it here in the playlist. <coughs> sorry. Uh, Titan Live has something called channels, and I think it's only available in the broadcast edition, so you can have a number of channels. Uh, I'm just using one, uh, and uh, I currently have one title here in this channel. So uh, if I play this out, it plays in, and the next time I click it, it goes out. Now, the next step is to get this thing into vMix, and you do that by adding an input, Add input, add input, and NDI input, and we're taking channel he one here from Titler Live, and now we got it here. So, and actually, I'm gonna put this one in preview instead, so you can see it a little bit better. So, again, if I click uh, play here, it animates it in, and if I click play here, it animates it out. And if I change my the name here to my name. And now you can see, uh, I'm going to hit tab uh, soon to move to the next field here and take a look at the rendering process here when I'm doing that. So I'm, I'm clicking, uh, I'm uh, pressing tab right now. So you see it rendered it. And you can see it said my name here instead. <coughs> and uh, we can't see it here uh, because it needs to be played out to be seen there and then out with it again. So uh, now I'm controlling the animations from here, but I can also do it here uh, with the right click command animate in number one. Animates it in and it animates it out. Now, uh, the first thing here is that there are commands for one, two, three, four, and so forth. And it took me a while to figure out what that's for. And that's because you can have a number of titles here. So let me pick another simple one from the library, put it there. So this is number one, this is number two. So now if I click send the command animate two in, it animates that one instead. And I can, on top of that, 
animate in number one as well. And it goes on top uh, because this one is above that one here in the playlist. And then I can click animate alt all and it takes uh, oops what happened animate out all that sorry about that um yes but i'm going to remove this one or delete it actually no i'm going to keep it um uh, what I can do here is if I animate this one in the first one I can in the title editor here in the NDI input edit for this one Oceano Oceano lower third I can change my name to somebody else's name and player <coughs> so you have to <coughs> you you see how it sort of uh comes up here and uh in a similar fashion i can change the uh fields of the second title title down here um now, uh, a small issue I'm going to point at is that if I remove this one, delete the second title, yes, the fields for it remains here, even though they're not there anymore. Um, yes. Uh, you can also, uh, in the title editor here, import a playlist. And I have one on my desktop, a commerce, uh, not a playlist, sorry, uh, presets, title presets. So I have a comma separated file here with my name and another name. So I can select the Richie Gutarski and it uh, renders it and it shows it. And then another name and take a look at the render time here. Another name there, it renders it there and here is one of the issues is that of course I don't want to if I if I sort of add a name on the fly uh, and I don't want it out uh, in the production until it has rendered I'm not sure if vmix can know if the rendering has been done or if it's uh, not completed yet sort of uh, so so you don't by mistake put it out there because before it's uh, unrendered and also there is a cache uh, somehow in title live so if if it's already been rendering i can move this one down here so it's a little bit closer to the rendering now since it's all been already been rendered this is much faster or actually there is no need to render it uh, okay that's one way of doing it uh, to get a content of the uh, fields in the lower thirds or the title input here Another one is to use data sources. So if I go into the data source manager and then I add a comma separated file and actually I have that one, the same one on the desktop. So I select that one and then I go in, I'm gonna close this one. I go into the title and I select the data source and I use the one I just added and apply those. Okay, now I got it back in the data source manager. And then you can see here if I pick this one, it changes like that. That's kind of neat. Um, yes. Now to the big, bigger issue then. Uh, if I animate this one out, uh, there it's gone. Uh, and here I, th here I think it differs uh, between the Wirecast integration and the vMix integration with Title Live. Because uh, if I 
for instance here uh, do a trigger that which is on transition in NDI command on this NDI input animate in number one add uh, and Actually, I'm going to just copy this one and say on transition out and instead change that to out and add this one. So on transition in, animated in, on transition out, animated out. So now uh, if I do a cut here, it animates it in and if I cut back, it doesn't animate out in the output it animates in preview so you need some kind of delay here um, the same goes if if we change those triggers to overlays instead uh, on overlay in and on overlay out there so if I turn this on as an overlay it animates in nicely but again if I animate it out it just fades because that's the current setting for that title so you need some kind of uh, delay before the transition so what I'm considering is a feature request for a delay for transitions and uh, overlay transitions as well um, We've our workaround currently is that we sort of we have shortcuts to animate in and out, and then when the shortcuts are done, uh, we turn the overlay off. Uh, I think that was about everything I wanted to show you right now. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching, and comments are most welcome. Bye bye.